Let's explore the Restic Compression feature. When you back up, Restic automatically applies the compression, crunching down large files, helping reduce the amount of space the backup takes up. Compression is most useful when backing up to the cloud, where storage cost is a factor. I have here three backups on my desktop. Backup Auto, Backup All, and Backup Max. And they all contain just my Documents folder, one snapshot. I look at the size of these backups. The original size of the Documents folder got a size of 69 megs. With Compression Auto, which is the default for Rustic, we get 61 megs. Now there's not a lot of stuff in my Documents folder, so then we can see with Compression All, it's a little bit bigger. And then with Max Compression, we've gone from about 70 megs down to 55 megs. I believe in the first section of the video, I showed just how well Rustic can compress huge amounts of data, turning something like a 70 gig virtual machine down to about 30 gigs or something like that. So how do we use compression with Rustic Backup? That's what I'm gonna show you now. So the first thing we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and remove these backups so that we don't get confused. And we'll just go ahead and create a new repository and I'll call it small and it. Now we've got our backup made. All we have to do is apply the compression flag or option. So I'll go ahead and back up my documents yet again, and I'll apply the compression option. And we can set this to whatever we want. We can set this to auto, which is a little redundant since it does this by default. However, I'll show you in case where you may actually want to set this to auto if you set the rustic compression environment variable. We can set this to auto, we can set it to off, and likewise, we can set it to max. The auto compression strikes a nice balance between speed and compression efficiency. Compression off will offer way faster backup, but you won't have any compression, obviously. With max compression, you're gonna be trading speed for efficiency. And honestly, Restic backup is so incredibly fast, I always just have max compression. And I'm backing up hundreds of gigs of data on a regular spinning disk hard drive. So I'll go ahead and set this to max compression. And I said back, not back up. And again, we stored about 50 close to 60 megs. Now, if you don't want to have to always put the compression option in the command like this, you can add the option in the rested compression variable. You can do this by going to our PC properties and you want to click on new, you just type rustic compression, and I'll just set it to max. And so now when I run that backup again, let's add videos to the backup, which by the way, you're not going to get that good of compression when it comes to certain media, such as music and videos, which are already compressed. You're going to get the best compression efficiency when it comes to little documents, spreadsheets, and stuff like that. Now I did set it to auto, which we don't want. I think I need to restart my terminal here. Let's run that again. Just want to show you. See, now it says max. When you add that variable, make sure you restart the terminal or start a new PowerShell session so that it can actually take effect. But we can see here when we ran it back up, it set compression to max level, which is what we wanted. That's pretty good. Of course, since we've already backed up the data, nothing was actually stored. In the next section, I'll show you how to remove specific unwanted files from your snapshot while still retaining the rest of the snapshot data.